All right, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you're coming from my first video that shows how to make a uh, chart or graph in Microsoft Word. Uh, if not, please go watch that one first because we're going to go a little quicker in this one. And so a lot of the techniques I showed how to do, I'm just going to click through them on this one instead of explaining it step by step. So anyway, uh, now we're going to create a graph for doing a number line problem in Microsoft Word. Once again, this is 2007. Uh, 2010, as we saw in the last video, is a little different, and I haven't tried this at all in 2003. All right, so first thing we're going to do, uh, we've got a blank page again. Uh, we're going to go to Insert, Chart, XY Scatter Chart. Make sure it's selected and clicking OK. Once again, Excel opens up. Uh, for this one, we're going to go ahead and delete all these values, and then we're not going to have to worry about adding them back in ever, and so we're just going to tab through, deleting all of the values are gone, charts blank. Okay, so now I'm going to layout. First thing I'm going to do is click on my uh, vertical grid lines or the horizontal lines and I'm going to click delete. Okay, I'm also going to delete the Y values that are here and then I clicked on the vertical axis and now all I have is the horizontal axis. I can drag this down to make it a little bit smaller and now all we have left is our horizontal axis. Okay. Once again, learning from the last video, we can go up to axis, primary or horizontal axis and click on this. Once again, depending on how big of a number line you need, you may need more than six, but uh, most of the time negative six Two positive six will cover anything in a word or in a math problem. Once again, major unit, we want to make sure that's set to one. You may, uh, in a different instance, need uh, hash marks at smaller places. You can see if I change this to 0.5, we get half hashes, uh, you know, and it gives you three and a half, four, four and a half. Uh, for most everything that I've done so far in math, we only need the major marks. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Once again, we're going to check a cross for the major tick mark type. And now we have our number line with all of our marks on it. Okay. So that's all we got to do for modifying the chart. Now we're going to go ahead and add a number line on there. Okay. So we go to shapes, create a line. Once again, holding down the shift key draws the line. I'm just putting it on here for now because we're going to make some options for it. Okay, so make sure that the line has the bubble at either end to let you know it's selected. Picture border. We're going to go to weight. We're going to make this a little bigger so it stands out against the chart line in the background. And so I generally do three point. Okay, and it's already blue and so that kind of works for most problems that we want to do. So let's say the problem requires us to go from negative th or three Oh, that was good. All right, let's say, once again, clicking on the end, holding down shift, let's say we have to go from three, and I don't know why that's not working right. Let's try this again. Okay, that's better. Three to negative three, okay? So we've got our line three to negative three. Now let's say uh, we need a parentheses here and a bracket here. So we're going to go ahead and throw those in. So once again, layout under the tab, a draw text box. Okay, you can just drag a text box, whatever size here. And we said it was going to be a parentheses on the negative three. So it helps if I hit the right key. All right, so we got our parentheses. Now we're going to go ahead and highlight that. You can either just click inside here and highlight, or I do the shift and left and right arrows does the same thing. Okay, and then uh, we can just do that with the text options right here. And so I'm gonna make it about 20 point. Uh, that seems to work pretty good. And then this uh, A with the red line underneath it is your font color. Okay, uh, the object is to get it as close to the color of the line. It's actually this one right here is the default line color that I've got. Okay, and then uh, now I've got a parentheses about the same size in relation to the line. I can drag it. Sometimes this can be a pain. Most of the time I get it the first try. 
right. Yeah, we'll call that good enough for right now. All right, and then uh, I need to do one more. So layout, draw a text box. Let's just go ahead and draw it down here. And we wanted this one to be a bracket, and so shift 20 point. And uh, as soon as I click on this, it'll automatically change it to that color. Okay, and then I just drag it to where I want it. And let's move that down a little bit. And once again, I'm not doing so well on this. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there you go. That is your number line. Now let's say, uh, you know, we needed to change this up. Now the easiest thing, uh, once again, I can just select it, control C, click out, boom, I've got another one. Number lines are, are the lines already there, but let's say this side needs to go all the way off the chart. And so we're gonna have an arrow at the end. So first thing we're gonna do, layout, insert a shape, and down under block arrows, we have these arrows here, okay? Now when you see when I start drawing it, okay, it gets kind of a funny size. And so, uh, it's kind of close, but the problem with it is, is it's got an outline. So we're going to get rid of the outline, and now it looks a little better. It's got the arrow on the end. Click on this and drag it to there. Click outside. And if you're a perfectionist like me, you can mess around with it until it's perfectly lined up. And that gives the impression. Clicking outside, you get your arrow going off the end of the chart, your bracket. Uh, what I do generally is create a chart, uh, either on a blank Word document or whatever, that's got everything already in it. Okay, so I've already got my parentheses for the left side. Okay, so I would just create, because each time you have to, to do this over. And so draw a text box. Helps if I click it right. Okay, and bracket, shift, uh, 20, change the color of it. It doesn't matter where it's at. It doesn't have to be lined up with anything. Okay, I've already got my bracket for this side, so let's create my parentheses for this side. Shift, color, 20 point, okay. And then uh, I'll go ahead and also draw my arrows. So I'm gonna do my left arrow over here first. And get rid of the border, no outline. It's already the correct color. I'll move it. Okay, and then one more arrow. Once again, get rid of the outline, and then move it to where I want it. All right, and now I also have everything I need in one uh, graph, and so that way I can just copy this one, paste, and Okay, this one, I'm not going to need the bracket or the arrow, so I'll get rid of both of those. This side, I don't want either the bracket or the arrow, so I get rid of the parentheses, so I get rid of those, and then, you know, move my parentheses to wherever it needs to be. Let's say it's negative four, and then... I just drag my line to where it needs to go. And you see how long that took compared to drawing it out. Boom. Next problem. And do it over again. You can see how quick this can actually go. Uh, you can play around with it to make it a little prettier. I was doing this on the fly recording, and so uh, it's a little more difficult than uh, taking your time. But once I get the first chart set up, I have these saved all in Word documents. And so every time I come across a problem that needs these, I just open up that Word document, copy it into my assignment that I'm working on, and start modifying it as needed. Paste, 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 over and over. Same with the graphs from the last one. 
And once again, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be sure to help out.